I'm joining Sharon Cotson ahead of racing on Friday to hear about the runners that the yard will be stepping out. Excalibur will be first up. He steps out in race one and he's coming along the right way, having placed in both of his latest starts. Morning Nadine. Excalibur enjoys the 1600 metres. Um, he's still learning to race. He's still a big baby. And you know, like even in his last run, um, he's still got to get his confidence to go through everything. So um, he's a big strapping horse. We got him back on the turf and hopefully with a long straight it gives him time to get going. In race two we'll see Treasure Hunt. Now she's new to the yard and she relocates with some Western Cape form behind her. Yes, Treasure Hunt, she's a beautiful, strong filly. She's got very consistent form uh, from the Cape. It is the first run for my yard, so I know we take on the male opposition, but it is a nice, smallish field, so hopefully we can put our best foot forward. In race three, Let It Snow will also be starting for the yard for the first time, and she makes her way from KwaZulu-Natal. Also, Let It Snow, new to my yard. Um, she's come down in the ratings and, you know, likes to race pretty much from handy, which should suit us, and expecting a nice good run from her. The yard steps out yet another newcomer to the barn in race four, and that's Dowser. He also makes his way from KwaZulu-Natal. Yes, also, as you mentioned, first run for my yard, all my newbies today. Um, he's got the draw, and he should enjoy the 1600 metres with a long straight. So, you know, it'll be very interesting to see my three newbies, but expecting good runs from all of them. Always nice to see new blood in the Eastern Cape. In race five, the yard will step out the coupling of War Launch and Iron Tail. And I know Iron Tail, especially the yard, will be very happy to have him on turf. Um, yes, War Launch, he tends to do too much too early. He's got to learn to settle. You know, we're trying all different types of bridles and bits and what have you. So we found one that sort of reasonably works well so hopefully it can do the trick because you know he's a lot better than what he has been producing he just um, has got it in his head that he has to go flat out from the from the gates <laughs> so hopefully if he learns to settle and bring back his prior form um, you know that's what we're hoping to see iron tail he hated the poly so every time we got shifted he missed a run and um, I think he will enjoy the 1,200 metres on the turf and then he's got the added bonus of Rachel Venica on where she claims the one and a half kilos. So hopefully Rachel can work her magic and uh, have a good run with him. And in race eight, the yard will close with another two runners. Pay Knight, first up, brilliant run last time out. It was his post-maiden run and he so very nearly made it back-to-back -back wins, just failed. And Uncle George, who joins us here in shot, wall eyed wonder, he's also never far back. Um, Payanat, <clears throat> he's improving with every run. He's a youngster that's getting better all the time and getting stronger all the time. So expecting another good run from him. Um, Uncle George, as we know, it all depends on how he behaves at the gates. Uh, last run he ran a bit of a flat run. We thought he would kick a lot better. But he's back on the grass now and his better runs have been on the grass. So hopefully that does a trick. Two runners I do think we can see in the action if all goes their way.